Hey lovelies, my name is Noria and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to give you guys some of the healthy junk food swaps that I'm going to be doing this month in the hopes of one, reducing the amount of added sugar I have in my diet while also trying to maintain and curb the need I have for my sweet tooth. So if you guys know me, I freaking love candy i love sweets i love sugar i feel like that's like the american standard because almost everything of ours has added sugar in it and i know health wise one it's not healthy already but then two i'm having like some issues with myself that i know that is contributing to because over the past few months i have had more in excess so these products are kind of kind of let me still live my best life but being more cautious on what I am consuming. I know some of you will probably say, well, hey, if you wanna be healthy, just take them all out completely. Okay, some people have that personality. I don't have that. I I can't do the cold turkey method, especially when it comes to candy. I've tried it before and I've ended up binge eating and it's just not worth it. And plus, I don't feel like you should ever really truly restrict yourself, just moderation and if you can't find quote unquote healthier um, substitutions, do that. So starting off with candy, I love gummies, I love chews, I love Skittle, I love all those types of candies. But if you look at the sugar content, it's pretty much just sugar. So I recently, I've seen them before and I just never truly tried to give them a shot, but I got the smart sweets candies and i've actually tried all of them except the chews their new watermelon flavor that may be it so this just happens to be what i have left um i will admit being someone who regularly eats a lot of sugar these took a little bit of adjustment but now that i've had them more often than i've had the other stuff especially the peach rings it's crap it's so good so basically this bag is just the whole thing is the serving and you it's only three grams of sugar and what i love about this is that one is plant-based no artificial flavors so basically they use a non-artificial sweetener that is like naturally found in raisins and figs and basically it doesn't act like sugar when it's in the body like traditional sugar um your body knows how to process sugar from fruits and and things like that so it knows how to do that and that and this mocks it so that it doesn't just become a waste product if that makes sense that's like the simplified version of it i'm trying to keep this pretty light but i have tried all the flavors except for the new watermelon and the chews and by far peach rings are my favorite the uh sour blast come in second and then i love the sweetest fish I do like these because I can't eat the whole bag and it's a decent amount for the whole bag. This one, the resealable ones, there's three servings per um, bag. You just kind of have to uh, do the serving, so yeah. Moving on to chocolates, I kind of went in the unreal direction. I didn't have the other, I tossed the bag before I did this video, but I absolutely love Almond Joys. Um, but it's not really chocolate and it's not really coconut. This one, three grams of sugar per bar. And normally I take one of these and I'm good. I found another one in Costco. These are the, um, chocolate snaps. I guess they're keto ones. Um, and it's two grams of sugar per bar and two bars are the serving size. So my mistake with these, I had, I tried it for the first time last night. I didn't, I forgot that dark chocolate has levels. I'm used to 70, this is 80 for 85. So it was very, very bitter, but I know the more I eat it or I'm mentally prepared for it, I can handle it better. I don't remember what the Unreal is, but it wasn't that bad because I ate it no problem. But dark chocolates, it, the darker you can go, the better. Um, it's less sugar that's in it overall. So those are the two chocolates kind of substitutions I'm taking. Um, I'll see if there's any more. Really, 
I just need to satisfy the craving and I don't have that many chocolate cravings. My gummy candy cravings, those are a lot higher. And then moving on to the next category, which is lemonade. So I love lemonade. I love all things lemonade, especially my matcha lemonade. That is my jam during the summer, actually any time of the year. However, most lemonades have like over 20 to 30 grams of sugar per serving. And um, if you're drinking that daily, that's a lot of just extra sugar you don't need. I am back on my true lemon kit. Now I used to do their just lemon version and their lime for cooking and just adding lemon to my water, but then I kind of just dove into their lemonade line. So I kind of just dove into the lemonade line. This is definitely not all of them, but these are my favorite. Wildberry, peach, and raspberry. I love them because no artificial sweeteners, preservatives, um, all natural flavors. Uh, they're sweet, eh, sweetened with a little bit of sugar and stevia leaf extract, but it only has one gram of sugar. So the whole packet, you put it in about, I think it's 10 ounces, 12 ounces of water, 16 ounces of water and enjoy. So what I will do with these, I will get my water bottle, fill it up with water, put my, if I'm just drinking lemonade, I'll just use one of those as directed. If I'm doing a matcha lemonade, I'll only use about, I'll say about 12 ounces of water to mix that and then the rest to mix the matcha poured in so it's not overly diluted. And there we go. I went from a, what, 30 grams of sugar to five, depending on what I put in my matcha lemonade, if I add a syrup or whatever. So that is a whole lot better. And I feel less guilty about that. I know I am a person who drinks my sugar. So that is one I am liking. Another is I am on that Celsius. So I'm also on the Celsius kick. Now this is just a random flavor I grabbed and I do use the uh, BCAA version for my workout. But this is helping me as well because water is great, but it's boring <laughs> and I want other drinks. So, and I do love that this again is um, Sweeten with stevia, there's no other added sugar, and it's just that, and I get my carbonation, so there's that soda craving, even though I don't really have a soda craving anymore, but that works for this, because I've had other, one of my other favorite teas I absolutely love, and then I looked on the back, and it was like, yes, it's organic and everything, but it has 20 grams of sugar per serving, I'm just like, no. <laughs> Again, you're seeing that these add up real quickly. Another su sugar substitute is actual sugar. So I drink teas, I like herbal teas, all those teas, but I always add like regular table sugar to it. And that adds up. I've tried like agave and other sweeteners in the past and it just does not hit the same. <laughs> Especially when you're trying to go from little to none it it's yeah so I actually came across this one recently this is the organic gave from David's tea and this is their vanilla version and oh my gosh this has to be like this has to be like one of the best one vanilla syrups I've ever had that was my main thing with this I wanted to use it for some of my lattes and stuff and all the other vanilla syrups I found were pretty, pretty high in the sugar content. This one only has four. Granted, the serving size is one and one half teaspoon, which is not a lot, but it tastes so good that you really don't need a lot. And I really just wanted the vanilla flavoring. This has been good on uh, pancakes. This has been good on um, biscuits. What else have I had? Um, the teas, This it makes a mean London fog. Oh my gosh, so good. So that is that. So another thing I kind of switched out was um, some of the ice creams I've had, but aside from one, which I'll kind of insert a picture here, the other alternatives I have are still high in sugar. They're just no longer dairy, which I need it for a different reason. So I do have the, um, keto bar i think it's like salted caramel one and it actually is pretty good i was i was very impressed 
um, and it, the net sugar, net whatever, is pretty low. But yeah, that's pretty much all I'm doing this month to try to combat my need for sugar, especially if I'm craving anything. I feel less, I don't want to use the term guilty because you should definitely indulge yourself every now and then. There's nothing wrong with that. However, I know just because almost everything else we have has added sugar and I'm still trying to navigate foods that work with me and don't work with my digestive system that I'm like, I don't want to make this a miserable month. This is just not what I'm going for. I just want to find slightly better alternatives. So that was the main point of all this. Am I saying you should give up any and every sugar that you should have? I mean, if you can live that lifestyle, good for you. I'm just not the one. I like my sweets and that's just what it is. So that's kind of what I'm doing. Let me know if you tried any of these before and also if you have any other suggestions that I can look into. Again, just trying to find better alternatives without having to give up and suffer. <laughs> So that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. Um, don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and turn on that notification bell so you know when I do uploads. And until next time, guys, bye.